Welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here with a quick update. As you know, the Acer Nitro 5 has only 8 gigs of RAM. I was finally able to acquire 8 more, so now I have 16 gigs. I know that it's been done before and it's quite easy, but I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade process. The first thing is make sure you have the correct memory type for your machine. Since this is a laptop, the SODEM module is what is needed. Also, the memory needs to be DDR4. The brand that I have is by Patriot and it's the Viper series. So now that you have your desired brand of memory, make sure the machine is powered down and turn it over like so. Get a small Phillips screwdriver and insert it in the position that you see here. Turn it counterclockwise until there is no more pressure and you have made around five or six revolutions. Take a credit card or something with a soft edge to pry on the corners to lift the cover off. I mentioned soft to reduce the chance of scratching. You will feel some resistance, but don't worry. It's the tabs trying to hold it in place. Since we are just adding one module, there is no need to remove the existing module in this machine. The slot we want to use is the one in front with the numbers 1725 on it. Your numbers may be different, but it's the empty module in the front. Next, remove your memory from the packaging and line up the notch. Notice how the notch is more on the right and the module that is installed is more on the left. That means you have to flip it over. Take your module and set it in the slot as so. This is the side view. Now push down on the module until the two silver holding tabs snap in the module notches. Notice the silver tab on the right is not engaged completely and should be in the lock position like the tab on the left. Now it's correct. Put the cover back on and turn the screwdriver clockwise until you feel the screw tighten. Don't put too much pressure as you could strip the screw. It should look like this now. Turn your machine over and power it on. That tape you see at the top is just covering my camera. It's a privacy thing. Don't worry about that. Once powered up, go into Windows and navigate to the About tab. If everything went correctly, you should see your available memory. You can also check this in your BIOS setting. Give yourself a pat on the back, congratulations. If you hear beeps or the machine does not power on, you may have to repeat the steps and reseat the memory module. After doing the upgrade, I was able to gain more FPS in some games. For instance, in Battlefield 1, I was not able to reach 60 FPS in any preset that I picked, and now I can. Previously, the FPS was close in most of the ones that were available, and now you can actually tell a difference. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Mean Poo, out.
halfway there, the enemy has the upper hand. Objective Charlie. <laughs> 